morning everybody and welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here go ahead and hit the subscribe button leave a comment down below if you're a returning subscriber hey boo it's sunday it's resurrection sunday i'm getting ready for church as you can see i did my ponytail it's it's okay sorry i was thinking about wearing like a should i do this kind of look i guess it's not super bold you know i'm using the fenty um heat i'm just gonna wear a gloss so i need to get finished getting ready it's 9 51 and i'm leaving here like 10 10 so let's get ready for church um what else my outfit i'm gonna show you guys my outfit that i'm wearing um that i picked out i wore it before but i wore it last year i haven't worn it since so i'm gonna get dressed right now wearing it's just a one piece suit these shoes are from fashion nova I think they're super cute with the little balls on the end of them. So this is the whole outfit. We're in this black jacket with it. And the purse that I showed you guys yesterday with the white shoes. I feel like it goes very well together. So this is the fit. And Church was so good. Oh, my face is a bit oily. Church was so good. I loved it and enjoyed it. And my best friend came out and that was just such a good surprise. Cause I didn't know if she was gonna be coming or not, and she did. So that was really, really cool. Um, on my way to my mom's house right now, it's hot. It is hot right now. But we are on our way, or not we, but I am on my way out, trying to get out of the traffic. Um, such it was just such a powerful service such a powerful service um i'm gonna go over there for a little bit hang out with them sorry it's dark i can't help it with the um the sun but i'm gonna hang out for a little bit over there have some easter dinner i think she's gonna try to wrap it up by like four so that way we're not you know it's not super late when we're trying to you know because the evening and stuff like that so just want to get on here and let you guys know church was amazing happy resurrection sunday hello i am back well i'm actually on my way home i just left my parents house it was such a fun time my sister came down and got to hang out with us um my brother's girlfriend came up here so we got to hang out only my person we were missing was my babe but for good reason though um He's working on some stuff, so, you know, I support him 100% on that. But um, we had such a good time. My mom made turkey, ham, deviled eggs, mac and cheese, yams, green beans. Um, we had grapes. We had banana split pie. We had a fun time. We played some games, and we did communion. So it was just such a beautiful, beautiful time. Um, today, overall, was such a, a great day. Like, I just thank God for today and you know him having a hand on my life for him giving me traveler's mercy for him just guiding me and directing my path and being able to be a light in my friends lives and my family's lives so it was just a wonderful wonderful resurrection day um right now i am headed home you know when i get home the top two things that are top tier to me when i get home is my lashes coming off and the bra coming off we all know women it's, if you wear a bra, you already know. It's just like, it frees you from the shackles of being confined. And when you wear lashes, it's like having a bra on your lashes. That's what it feels like taking lashes off it's for me. I don't particularly like to wear them for a long period of time because they bother my they bother my eyes for a while. But um, I'm gonna go home and take these lashes off. I need to wash my face off this makeup. I need to, I'm gonna get in the shower and decompress. If I've been out in the world doing stuff, I, find, I take a shower before I go out, right? And then, let me know if you guys are like this. So I take a shower before I, uh, you know, when I get off, or before I go anywhere. Sorry, I was thinking about the road. It's so many dips and stuff. I'm looking at the road, but anyway, I take a shower before I go out, right? Smell goods, all that jazz. Then when I come home, I take another shower because I feel like I need to wash off the outside world. Does that make sense? Does anybody else do that? I do that. Woo! That was a big old hole that could have busted my tire rim. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so that's what I do. So that's what I'm, I want, I can't wait to get home to do. 
Now, on my way down to my parents' house from church, right, it was two accidents. I don't know what was going on, but there was two accidents that was happening, and I thank God that nobody would look like nobody was seriously hurt, but the way that they're working on the highway, you guys know I'm just not getting over like driving on a highway, but when I tell you I was feeling so frustrated, I just kept praying. I was like, Jesus, I need you to help me. I need you to tell me what to do. Calm me down, because it was, it was too much. It went from five lanes down to three, back to four, to two, to one, back up into three. And here's the thing, the road, the lines, they made a shoulder, they made that a road. And then people were driving on it and then realizing like, I'm on the shoulder. So it's just, it was so, it was chaos. It was chaos, it was confusion, it was corruptness because it was so corrupted because nobody knew what was going on. And then on top of that, on the shoulder, which is technically, which is, they had it as a, a road you can, uh, a lane you can drive in, which technically was a freaking shoulder that's the line that you had the semi truck semi truck is going up then the tow truck then the fire chief then the police and then the ambulance was all trying to come up the shoulder the lane and then nobody could get over because two lanes were already congested but they made it into like a driving lane so there was no shoulder it was just a mess but god is good and he kept me in my parents was calling me to let me know they were like hey there's another accident so there's two it was like there's another accident up ahead. I got off the exit so quickly and just took the road. I was like, I can't do this no more. <laughs> I can't do this no more. I don't like this. Like I was supposed to be at their house at 1:41. I didn't get there until like 2:05. That's just how long of a, you know, it, the whole process took. But I didn't want. I wasn't complaining about how long it took. It just was giving me. I didn't. I didn't like that feeling. I was feeling, and then also knowing that the roads was shifting and changing and they were working on you know what I mean like it, it, uh uh that's not for me that is not for me but I'm on my way home now see people like this just flying flying for no reason just a crossover stay in the left three lanes thank you um so it is what it is but I'm going home God is good and then I cut my brother's hair he had dreads and then he cut all his dreads off because he was like, he went to somebody who palm rolled him, then he went to somebody who crocheted him, then he went to somebody who, you know, just did a bunch of different things. So there was no consistency on the technique. So he has some thin ones, thick ones, and all this other stuff. So he ended up just cutting them, them out. And then his hair was just all over the place. So I ended up just kind of cutting his hair down or whatever. Ooh, I do not like it when there's two semi trucks driving behind me. Mm. Like one behind me and one on the road next to me. Let me speed up a little. But so I ended up cutting his hair and semi lined him up because I've never lined anybody up before. I cut my husband's hair. I cut his hair every week, but he lines himself up and he does all of that himself. I am just merely here for support and I just do Stay the um. Late. What do I do? Oh, that semi truck is flying around the corner, honey. Um, I just cut, I just knock him down, you know, knock his hair down or whatever. So that's all I do. So when I did my brother's hair, it was so thick. I started with like a six guard and went all the way down to a two. <laughs> it was so thick, but he liked it. So everything was good on that. Um, the study, the Bible about the church today, he was talking about, he was coming out of Matthew. He was coming out of John too. Um, he talked about Judas you know we know the story of Judas and how he betrayed Jesus and all he got was some silver but it put in perspective because I was just talking to my friend about deliverance this week and I was talking about how and I can't remember the scripture I can't remember the exact scripture or where it was at and I have to try to remember but it talked about how God was delivering David from Saul and how you know he asked God to deliver him from it and he said how God came down and he moved the mountains and he shook earth and he you know set fire and he lit up the sea and I said you know what that's how I envision God doing when he delivers me from situations that I've asked him to deliver me from I've asked God to deliver me and take me from strongholds or deliver me from situations that I'm in and I believe that's what God does when he delivers me is he moves earth we say that all the time for our kids you know for our kids I've said it for my family members like I'll move earth I'll I'll set fire you know when it comes to my family 
And I'm like, and I serve a God, a father who really has done these things for me to deliver me. So how, who am I to ask God to move mountains and shake earth and set fire and to light up the sea for me to go back to do the same exact thing over and over again? You know what I mean? So when he was talking about how Judas and he's, you know, basically, you know, when we hear that story, we'd be like, I can't believe you, Judas. You sold Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. You sold out Jesus. Like we talk about that. And he was like, but the thing is, he said, is we do the same thing to God every day. He said, when we turn our back on him, he said, when we do things that we know we shouldn't do, that's wrong. And, you know, he was like, and you backslide and when he said that it just put in perspective like dang that is true i betrayed him on that like you got to think if you have a friend that's doing all these things for you let's just put it in this term you got a friend right and they doing so much for you you know you help them out every time in all these situations but then when it comes time for you to pay back or when it comes time for you to be there for that friend when it comes time for you to really be loyal and not turn your back and you turn your back that's betrayal it's like everything i did for you and this is how you repay me that's the same exact thing that we do to jesus so it just made me think about my walk and my life i know i'm not perfect god knows that we're not going to be perfect and we're supposed to strive for it but it just put in my thoughts and my you know in my mind to just to give my continue to give myself grace but to also be in remembrance of what i'm asking god to deliver me from and to fight harder to not go back into that situation um so that was kind of, that was a little bit on what the subject was about uh not subject but the, what the sermon was about and who he was talking about and it just kind of gave confirmation like i literally was just talking about deliverance and you know and and then he kind of touched on that subject which felt like it tied in but um it was like I said it was a really really good service thoroughly enjoyed it they had a children's choir um sing they did like a skit song they had young adult choir sing then they had the regular choir it was just it was a full-on <coughs> production type style but not really but it was it was really really good so um I'm gonna stop talking because I've been talking for a minute and I can't even tell I've been talking for like 19 minutes Oh my gosh, that's like really no nine minutes. I was saying, ain't no way. 19 minutes, I'm at home. I've been talking for dag near 10 minutes, so I just want to talk to y'all about that because you know I'm growing in my walk with God. I'm growing in my faith, and that's just something that I've talked about with you guys openly about being more vulnerable, being more open with you guys, and I feel like the best thing to do is to share where I'm at growing, what I feel helps me and what I picked up and what nuggets I've learned or I pick, you know, that I get and to share it with you guys because you never know who is going to help. So I really just appreciate that. So um, I really, um, I really appreciate that. So I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to go home. I'm going to shower. And then if I don't talk to you guys tonight, I will talk to you guys tomorrow because it's Monday and we work out. Yay! I'm forcing myself to love working out again. I like working out when I do it, but the act of waking up, I'm like, of getting up to work out? <sighs> Yeek. Good morning. It is Monday morning. I'm getting ready to make me a shake for breakfast. Ooh. This is the protein shake that I got that I was telling you guys, guys about. I bought this, this plant based. And I like it because the other one that I have, it has dairy in it, so it kind of bothers me a little bit. So we're going to have that. I'm going to have an oatmeal and some granola. So let's get ready. Oh, I'm going to pack, pack. Oh my God. I'm going to pack up oatmeal in my shake. Now, the last time I made it, I used my small, little small blender, and I wasn't thrilled. Oh, you know what? I'm trying to think. Should I have put my oatmeal in my... I think I'm just going to make a bowl of oatmeal because I kind of want to chew something, and that's going to help me, you know, feel like I'm eating more. But I used my small... Anyway, I used my small blender last time, and the consistency wasn't bad, but it wasn't like the best it was kind of um why can't i get this open oh. it wasn't bad it just was kind of i don't know 
like too milkshakey. It was sorry, it was like chocolate milk. That's the consistency that it gave me was chocolate milk. And I did I want something that's gonna be a little bit more, you know, thicker. I need to get more almond milk. Oh no. So I think that's why I'm trying it in this blender to see if it makes, you know, a difference or not. But it was creamier, it didn't have a weird taste. Like the beach body stuff, I don't care for that aftertaste. Like you have to put stuff in it to make it taste good. And this one, you don't need that. You know, it was it was really good. It was smooth. So I like that. And then I think, like I said, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make me a pouch of little blueberry oatmeal and then have some granola. So I'm gonna do that. Then we're gonna start work. It's Monday. It is Monday. So, let's get to blending, honey. It's loud, so let me stop you guys. Let me stop it real quick. Okay, so I kind of blended. I think it's thick. It's not super, super thick. I put, I'm gonna put it in my, um, I still got chunks of ice in it, which is okay, I guess. I always do like 16 ounces of milk in my, when I fill it up. Granted, I know it has, um, like the protein powder in, in there but i always pour it to like that and then where's my fat straw there it is and then i just use a fat straw to drink it protein powder completed got my oatmeal that was in the microwave done so that's good i used to add sugar and butter and even though that makes it taste so good i'm not gonna do it i'm just gonna leave it to where it was and then we're gonna make our gran our oats or not our oatmeal what's this called our granola and you guys know what i said presentation so i'm just using the silk almond milk one i wanted to make the bars the yogurt bars but I wasn't for sure how almond milk freezes and I don't want to go through all this trouble of like having like setting it up and doing it and then it turns out that it doesn't set <laughs> you know what I mean like I'll be I would not be a happy camper if that worked so I shake my granola down to get the small pieces because I don't like when I'm done with it and I'm getting crumbs that makes me sad I'm like mm. No, I don't want that. So I'm just going to put some granola in here. That was a big chunk. I layer mine. I really do like to layer it. Because it just tastes good. And it just looks cute. But today is Monday. I don't think it's going to be too, too warm. I think it's going to be a high of 65. Which is still warm. Relatively warm. Because we've been having like 30 degree, 40 degree, 50 degree weather. And if you're in Ohio, you already know that that feels wonderful. Like 60 some degrees is like, oh, I don't need a jacket type weather. <laughs> That's how that weather is. So um, I don't think I have to go anywhere today. If I do, I just have to go and get some um, almond milk because I don't know if I'm going to have enough for tomorrow. I think I don't have, an, I don't have enough for tomorrow. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's gonna be okay. For lunch, I'm having, um, remember I went, or in my last vlog, I went to Target and I bought the two, um, what's it called? The two TV dinners. So I'm gonna have my other one today. And just filling up my water so I can have water to drink. Um, I'm gonna have that for lunch and then some apples and peanut butter. So we're getting our protein in today. That is for sure. I have filter water in my refrigerator, but it takes forever. It takes forever to pour, put it in my container and I'm just be trying to get done. Like, I don't care. Sometimes I'll wait when I'm cooking. <laughs> I'll get like my glass or ice or whatever and then I'll stick it there and I can walk away and I'll be good. But when I'm trying to get done, I don't have time for that. Good morning. Oopsie. Good morning. 
It is Wednesday morning. I am getting ready for my dentist appointment. Gonna go get some fillings put in. Oh, did I tell me I had two piece mention? Mm, hold on. So I'm gonna go get fillings put in today. <sighs> if you guys know how I deal with dentist appointments, you already know. Where it's gonna be kind of difficult. So I'm only gonna I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get on when I get back from my appointment, but I'm not I'm optimistic. <laughs> I'm cautiously optimistic on how I'm going to do because I just don't do that good. I just don't. Ugh. But yesterday I um, didn't vlog because I really, yesterday was just one of those trying days after work. It wasn't a bad day of work, but I just definitely had to kind of remember where I was at and be like, you know, I pray for moments like this to not get overwhelmed. And and it wasn't even anything bad. It was just like, you know, answers that I wanted to hear. Sorry, I'm trying to get my jewelry real quick. Um, I wasn't getting answers that I wanted to hear right at that moment. So it was kind of frustrating, but I had to remember, like, it's not that serious. Like, calm down. There was a time when you couldn't get... You know, you couldn't get anything. And now you do. And now you're frustrated because you're not getting answers. Like, calm down. <laughs> so, I had to have one of those moments. And then when I got off of work, I just kind of chilled and relaxed. Sat outside with Aaron and, um, you know, kind of decompressed. So, I didn't do anything. That's the only reason why I didn't get back on here. But, we're about to go to the dentist. I need to get some gas before we go. So, I'm probably going to get that done, and we're going to go do that. And then I'm going to make a protein shake for when I come home so I can have that to eat. I just don't like eating before I go on the point, like, to the dentist. I just don't like doing that. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I don't like doing it. Kudos to anybody who, anybody who else can do that, but I just I just can't. It's, to me, I'm like, oh, no. But I'm going to get off here. I just wanted to say good morning to you guys. Oh, gosh. And um, it sucks as I'm supposed to be in the office today because our CEO is going to be there. But I can't because my dentist, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah, it's one of those things. But it's 739. I need to go get gas and then go to my dentist appointment. So I'm going to get off here so I can rush and go. And I will talk to you guys after my dentist appointment. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm out of my dentist appointment, as you can tell. My mouth hurts so bad. My jaw hurts so bad. <laughs> oh my gosh, my mouth hurts so bad. Because I'm going to hold my, my jaw open for so long. And I'm numb and my face is swollen. Like, gosh, I don't know, I sound like Sylvester, so Sylvester and a cat. Sound like Sylvester the cat. But I'm not gonna go home. I'm gonna go get gas real quick and then I gotta go home. <sighs> I'm so tired. I don't do good with anesthesia. It makes me so sleepy. And it like takes 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 stuff out of me. But I'm gonna um oh my gosh. I'm gonna stop and go get gas, and then I need some chapstick. I'm gonna stop and get gas, and then I'm gonna go home. I gotta go on the computer just a second for work, and then I'm gonna go back home, and then I'm gonna try to lay down because this sucks. So I'm being safe, guys. I got my seatbelt on. I'm awake. I'm just really tired. Yeah, my mouth hurts so bad. So I'll talk to you guys later on. Oh goodness, can you guys see me? I know the sun's, I don't know where the sun's at, but it makes it a little bit darker, but um, it's later, way later in the day. Well, my mouth hurts still so bad. I'm gonna take some pain medicine. Um, I still look, you know, I still look rough. <laughs> like, I still have that stuff in my system, but Oh, you really can't. There we go. I was like, come on. Come on, work with me. And then this is moving. Is that better? I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, I'm on my way to Walmart real quick to get me something to eat. I'm going to get some stuff for a salad. I'm going to make my salad. I'm going to eat that. And I'm going to go to bed.
tomorrow we're going to office tomorrow i was supposed to go in today but obviously i couldn't but i'm gonna go in the office tomorrow i'm gonna take a pain pill when i get home and i'm gonna go to bed because i'm my mouth is hurting it's my my tooth hurts from what they did it because they put those spacers in there and then my um What's it called? My jaw hurts from having them crank and do all this stuff. And it's just, it don't feel good. So, I'm going to take some main pain medicine for that. But I'm going to get back on here because, whew, I'm talking through my teeth because it just hurts. This is just not fun. But, I'll show you guys. I'm making a salad, so I'll show you guys my salad once I get back home, and then after that, I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna go to bed because <laughs> I can't. This stuff literally drains me. I that's what I hate about. I can't do the nitrous or whatever it's called because it makes my head feel extremely funny. And when I tried it, the, I had tried it and they did it, and they were like, "We can't use this on her." <laughs> on her, so I used the needle, the numbing, but the it knocks me out every single time. By the time I'm done, I my appointment was at 9. I got done. I think by the time I got home was 9.30. I was sleeping by 9.45, 10 o'clock. Like, I ate some oatmeal and I went to sleep. And I slept till almost 2. Woke up for like an hour and a half and I'm back to being like super exhausted. So, you know, that's just how it is. But... I'm about to go into Walmart real quick. It is so nice outside. Thank you, Jesus. It's, I would, This is the day I would go walking and exercise. I mean, I'm not doing it now, but this is one of them days I would have. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. Yeah, it's Saturday morning. I haven't talked to you guys since Wednesday. Yeah, since Wednesday. Let me catch you guys on what's going on. For one, ignore the creator, one, two, that's trying to pop up on my face for some reason. They're trying to make an appearance. Two, ignore my scarf because I just did my hair and I'm going to Target real quick. And I was just trying to lay down for a little bit. Um, so, Thursday I went to the office. Oh my gosh, I had such... I had the worst panic attack. Like, you guys know I'm getting over being on the highway. Like, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. I'm at a solid, you know, comfortable rate of like, okay, I know where I need to go. I don't need my GPS. Let's just get there and go and be done. Which I'm cool with. But what I'm not cool with is when they're working on the highway, they make a shoulder into a road. And now I'm driving on the edge, which feels like of the road. Um... I don't like stuff like that 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 gives me anxiety okay so what ended up happening was um hold on a second so what ended up happening was i needed to get around this bend area and i couldn't because it was on the shoulder which they made into a road oh hold on a second okay sorry i had a phone call but Okay, sorry. I had a phone call, guys. Um, so, anyway, so the shoulder. I don't like going around the shoulder because I'm on the edge. The semi-trucks were driving, and they weren't going fast, but in my perspective, I felt like they were flying. They weren't. I just was having a panic attack, and they were just going around the corner, and I just needed to get in the middle lane. I just was like, I need to get in the middle lane where I'm not on the edge because I literally felt like... It seems going to sound so dramatic, but I felt like I was on a cliff and I felt like one wrong slip and I was going to go off that cliff. I don't like driving that area. So I had a panic attack for that whole section for like a good three minutes to the point where my vision started getting blurred and not, not blurred, but it was like I was starting to see like, okay, I knew I was supposed to be going this way, but then at the same time, I'm like, am I supposed to go straight or curve? Like my vision started getting messed up because I was holding like trying to like keep it all in mind you prior to that i was on the highway from 828 to 921 at a standstill going only five miles per hour and that's so i was in one spot for that long so that happened which i was fine with but it was just driving on the shoulder that gave me extreme anxiety and a panic attack and then i had a rough night that night then later on that night um i end up having like 
I had a like emotional moment where I was just crying and having some things go on. And I thank God for having, you know, my husband be there to comfort me and to help me and stuff like that. So we got done with, you know, after I got through my little emotional thing, we had prayer and it felt, you know, it felt good. And I definitely encourage couples to pray together because it's just something about that that's just so powerful. Um, so ha that happened on Thursday. Friday, yesterday, I got up, cleaned up, went to work, you know, got off of work. I think we went to Walmart. I came home. I got a uh, margarita pizza. I was so sick. Well, let me let me rephrase it. So then we got that, and then we got the Hobbit honey habanero ruffle chips. Those things are so good. They're not gonna come out. They're a limited time, so I hate that. It's always the flavors that are just so good that they don't come out. There is limited edition, like the Flamin' Hot Carolina Reaper. Those are so good. Me and Aaron's like those are the best Flamin' Hot limited edition. So. We did that, and I made the pizza, and I had that and some chips. Fast forward to this morning, I was so sick. My body was shaking. I was not feeling good at all. So, dealing with that, it is 11.09, and I still don't have an appetite. Like, I still don't feel 100%. Today, we were supposed to, supposed to go to my best friend's house and hang out, and then we were going to do brunch, and then we was like, let's just do next week. Or I said, let's just do next week, because she hurt her knee. And she's been having some issues with her knee. So I'm like, girl, let's just do next week. Like, I'm not, you know, we'll do that. God willing. And then, I'm glad I did say next week because I would have never ate nothing. Like, I, I, I still feel low-key kind of sick. But we're here. We are here. Um, so we're about to go into Target because I'm going to see if I can buy like one of those foot soak bath things with the jets and the bubbles and the massager. I want to get one of those for Aaron for his ankle because his ankle's been kind of rough. Which the doctor told him like it was going to be like that. But I'm going to get that for him. He wanted some gummy bears. I do need to get some new flowers. And that's it. That's it. I probably should eat something. I also want to go on a walk today because I do want to get some kind of workout in today. So, I don't know. And I need to edit my video. I can do all these things. I can do all things to Christ. But, let's go into Target real quick and see what we find there. So, the only thing that... Oh, God. Why are you guys so zoomed in? Let's zoom out. Oh, my God. No. There we go. We don't need that much of a close-up. The only thing that makes me feel nervous is, like, vlogging in public with like, so many people. That makes me always feel so uncomfortable. But it is what it is. It is what it is. The smell of coffee makes me feel sick like it's not agreeing with my stomach at all I want to get some different kind of lotion everybody's been talking about the fresh and oh god that was horrible angle sorry everybody's been talking about the fresh and cozy and I'm gonna see what it smells like all the girls on YouTube are talking I don't feel like it smells that good. I like the vanilla cashmere better. I have the coconut waters. That smells really good. I'll get the pomegranate one. Oh, I don't want to get too much. This smells. <laughs> the smell and clark my stomach. Um, but they also have the Moroccan. Mm, I might just wait. Okay, I need to find the tub basins that has the things you could, you know, the thing you put your feet in. I don't know where that would be at. So, I'm going to try to see if I can find where that would be. I got my flowers. I'll show you guys that when I get home. But let's see if I can find the thing I'm looking for. They have it. This. I'm gonna get this one for him. But we're gonna see if they have another one. We're gonna see if they have some other ones in the um, 
bath side, bath aisle section. Okay, I'm back home. Let me show you guys what I got. So I got this for Aaron for his foot, his foot spa. So I got that. Flower time. I think these are such a pretty, they're a lot lighter on camera, but they're like a darker color. So they're absolutely so beautiful. I did get this to try to have something on my stomach. Uh, Aaron wanted some gummy bears, so I got him some gummy bears. I bought these because later on, once I'm feeling better, I do want something. And these are the non-dairy, they're the best. And then I also bought this one, so. My plan is I'm going to go for a quick walk to see if that might help me feel better because I feel kind of sick still. These are the chips I was talking about. Girl, y'all, look at my pants. Can you, y'all can't even see my pants. I ripped, I ripped my knee pad, my knee part of my jeans, but these are the chips I was talking about. They are so, so good. I probably should do my flowers first, right? Oh gosh. And like I said, like these flowers, they definitely look sad because I haven't changed the water. And normally if I change the water, I can do pretty good. But I I don't think I changed the water. I think I've only changed the water once and normally change it twice. So they would have lasted a little bit longer, but that's okay. I'm gonna change the water real quick tonight. Let you guys a little bit. Tonight, um, Aaron's having some meatballs and I'm gonna have chicken liver. So he's having that for dinner. Um, I'm gonna probably just have some meat, some chicken livers and a vegetable. So I'm gonna have that. Um, but I really just wanna, I look tired. I'm tired and I'm low key and I don't feel good. So, you know, that's not. That's never a good combination, but let me get my scissors. You guys know I can't see up here, so I'm hoping I'm grabbing the scissors and I can't see. Cats on it. I don't need a stool. Where's the scissors? Now I can't find my scissors. Where would they be? He put them. Hold on. I can't find. I cannot find the scissors. I don't know where they're at, where they were put at, where they were placed. So I want to go for a quick walk to see if that might help. And also, I want to get some kind of workout in because movement is not my friend right now. And by movement, I mean doing like you know some crazy workout so i just took a shower this morning but it's cool it's whatever i'm going to um go for a walk and then come back get in the shower we're gonna use our new my new lotion like i said the vanilla cashmere and what was the other one i have vanilla cashmere and the coconut waters, I really like those. And then I like the pomegranate, but I'm not a fan of the fresh and cozy one as much as everybody talked about it. I was expecting to smell more. Maybe that's why people liked it because you can't really smell it. But um, I have a lotion for that. Like I have my Nivea cream, which is super moisturizing, but it's a thick cream to a point where like, you know, you gotta, you gonna really be rubbing it in, so. Oh, so for stomach in there. That's a feel great. Um, so I have that kind of lotion if I want something that's not gonna have like a scent. It has a scent, but it's not an overpowering scent and I can change it out. So I'm going to, let me put my sports bra on because like, like I said, if I don't do it now, I'm gonna not wanna do it later on and I wanna get my my walk in. So 
plan for the day is go on the, oh god go on this walk oh my gosh my my sports bra stuck you ever put your sports bra on and it rolls it's probably not supposed to do that but i'm i got a small a size small or whatever size this is i probably should be in a medium but it is what it is the girls are going to be where the girls are going to be you know um the plan for the day so i'm wearing this sports bra it's oh my dear i know it i forget where it's from victoria's secret um but i didn't buy it from victoria's secret i got it from play-dohs and then i'm wearing this workout shirt that has like a little knot on this in the front let me see if i can show you guys so this and then these leggings that i've had for years that i got from five below which has been holding up because they got some good quality stuff so that is what i'm getting ready to go do put my chapstick in here i and I had to take my scissors downstairs. I need to get some socks. Hold on one second. Oh, where's my other sock? Um, put on some socks. Go downstairs and cut those flowers and put them in their vases. And then we go head out. Well, I'm not gonna take you guys walking, but then I'm gonna go walk. Hello. I'm home. I did my walk. I walked for 51 minutes and I burned 306 calories. I'm tired. I'm hot. I'm about to get in the shower and I'm going to talk to y'all when I get out. <laughs> okay, so it is Sunday. It's like almost 1 o'clock. It's about to start raining. Ugh. I did not want to be out here in this rain. I was trying to get back home before it started this rain. Um, it is like Sunday, almost one o'clock. I did not go to church. And if we're going to be 100% honest, keeping it in a buck, it's because I was just being disobedient. And I did not feel like getting dressed, doing my hair, doing my makeup, doing anything that I had to do because I was just wanting to be lazy and not do it. And then church was so good. And he was talking about if you know better, then you do better. And you should be seeking God's face. And you should be seeking God's presence. And all these different things he was saying. And I just had to repent because I just was like, God, I should have went to church. I should have listened and not been stubborn and not just feeling like I'm just going to listen to the site, like, you know, the online service. And that's nothing wrong if people choose to do that. This isn't talk about anybody who chooses to stay home and watch the service. I'm speaking personally on me and my experience and what I was getting convicted on this morning or last night about how I should do something. And then I did not do it. So I definitely felt a lot of conviction on that. Um, but I did watch the full service and it was really, really good. It spoke about a lot of different key points that drove on the fact that I'm like dang it I should have went to church like he said you know but I did like I said I did repent and ask God to forgive me for not listening to what he had said and what he told me to do um we're all human and we make mistakes but the thing is is when you know better you do better and that's what he was talking about um right now I am on my way to Staples because I need to get this um card laminated for Aaron and then I need to go to Walmart. I'm not going to lie. I'm low-key thinking about going to Crumble Cookie. Because my friend keeps talking about the strawberry jam crumble cookie. And I low-key want one to try. So I might go there after I leave Staples. And I will have to literally do it. I will have to make my mind up before I leave Staples. Because I need to go to Walmart. Um, because it is they're so close together and it's rainy and windy and it's trying to like come down super crazy and I'm hoping it don't I uh this morning cleaned out all both of my cars because Aaron's drove uh he had took the truck so I cleaned the cars out this morning I had a bucket oh no it's really raining I had a bucket and um a sponge and I had all my cleaners out there and I was just cleaning like rubbing my truck it doesn't have um it doesn't have carpeted floors it has like uh, i don't know how to say plastic floors or whatever kind of floor they are it has those so i was up here just like getting my sponge and just mopping the floors and everything so they're they're squeaky clean on the outside on the inside 
on the inside i mean well no i'm sorry the outside is dirty so this rain ain't gonna do nothing except help it but this uh oh can i park here yes i can but the outside yeah the rain is gonna help but the inside it looks good so i'm gonna run into staples real quick and then i need to figure out if i want to if i want to get a cookie i don't need one but do i should i get one y'all oh i wish you guys could tell me if i should go get one let's go into staples real quick okay so i went into staples i was gonna take y'all but it was coming down rain at none um and now i stopped raining thank you jesus i uh they said that their person was out sick. Their person was out sick, so they couldn't. I'm gonna get in this one. So they couldn't print nothing. So that kind of sucked, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. I can't see if cars are coming. I'm just gonna hurry up and go. Um. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Child, sometimes I can't. You can't see when they have the big old green, the big old greenery in the median. Like, how am I supposed to see when cars are coming? But um, I had to go back tomorrow. Anyway, sorry guys. I had to go back tomorrow to because they said they'll have somebody there. Just everybody called off in the printing section. So it is what it is. But we're going to go to Crumble Cookie and we're going to get a strawberry cookie. Now, if it's meant to be, I, I'll get one. If it's meant to be, they'll have the cookie that I'm wanting. And I'll be able to go get one. I hate this little dip. Um, if they don't, if it's not meant to be, they'll be run, they'll be out of it. So, let's see if they have, I just want the strawberry cheesecake. There's like no cars here. Are they closed? They're open. Okay, step one. <laughs> oh, my battery's about to die and I don't have an extra one with me. I'll show you guys if I end up getting one when I go home. I'm sorry. I'm gonna close the vlog out here because it is late and I'm tired but I'm watching the chosen I'm still in episode one so far so good I'm liking it um it's a little different than what I was expecting but it's it's not bad but I'm gonna close the vlog out here as always I thank you guys so much for watching my channel and watching my videos and I love you guys so much and I appreciate every single one of you and until next time I'll talk to you guys later